What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're hanging out, checking out a game that we... I guess I played it probably about six months ago? Five months ago? Four months ago? I don't know. Either way, it was in early access back then. It was kind of a card battling, dungeon diving, roguelite meets darkest dungeon meets space exploration. There's lots of stuff going on with this game, but I did like it a lot. And so Deep Sky Derelicts is out now in its 1.0 iteration. It's done. It's made it out of the murky depths of early access, which is accomplishment in and of itself because a lot of games don't make it out. They start the journey and they fall somewhere along the path, like that old western trail that they used to walk to California. You know, just bodies falling off left and right. Video game development is no different. Today we're going to check out the 1.0 version and see what's different, but for right now, we got to make ourselves a brand new crew. We're going to call these guys the Home Wreckers. There we go. And then on this side, we've got a couple different classes we can choose from. We've got the tracker, the bruiser, the technician, the medic, the leader, and the scrapper. I would like to have, you only get to pick three too. So like you can't have everything in one playthrough, which sort of encourages repeated plays if you really like the game. We've got a bruiser over here. We're going to have a bruiser. A bruiser sounds all right to me. He's got that big old beat stick. What do we want our bruiser to look like? That seems like the guy who would be a bruiser right there. He gets plus 15 to mental. Crafty, neurotic, aggressive. Yeah, let's go with aggressive. It looks like he uses a melee weapon, so we'll go with aggressive. His name can be... I like that name, actually. That's a good name for him. Rat. I like it. We've got a tracker over here. They've got weaponry. What else do we have? we got a technician. I think the leader wouldn't be the worst idea, but a scrapper might work out, too. That gives us scavenging skills, maybe. The tracker's okay at fighting, and you get a little bit of tech and medical in there. Technician's kind of a hardcore specialist at everything. Yeah, let's do that. We'll have a technician. Oh, you can change what they look like, too. Oh, cool. There's different skins now. That didn't exist the last time I played the game. Nice. Sweet. You can actually, like, put them in different stuff. Uh, instead of Girard, what kind of stuff do we want in here? We got Charismatic. We got Crafty. Let's maybe go with Skittish, possibly. Instead of that, we'll call this person, oh, I don't know, Fiddleshire. Perfect. Agent Fiddleshire, ready for deployment. And our last person should probably be reasonably decent at, like, something. I can't decide what, but... I was hoping there'd be somebody that had, like, decent medical skills, but also decent fighting skills. Didn't really want that to be open, but I do appreciate the fact that there's a fold-out menu that you can check on. You know, if you're, if you're stuck and you don't know who you want in the group, the tracker's got good weaponry. We got a little bit of everything over there. If we go up against a mental enemy, we're in pretty deep trouble. But I'll get, but yeah, do charismatic actually. We'll get the plus 15 mental defense right there. That'll help out slightly. And in fact, I'll probably do that on her too. Yeah, do it. I I'd like to have, yeah, do get a little bit more mental skill up in there. Like just in case. Well, maybe she doesn't need it. Maybe we can just go with skittish and we'll be nice and dodgy. And so this person's a tracker. Ooh, I like that. I like that right there. Although I do kind of like that one too. That outfit's pretty dope. So as a tracker, what kind of what kind of stuff do we have around here? Oh, that dude's got the oh, that dude's got the aviators though. That dude got the aviators. Yup. See this right here. This is the difference between a junior programmer and a senior programmer. You see what I mean? Junior geologist, senior geologist. You see what I mean? Like, when you get the aviators, that means you've been on the job site for a minute. You ain't scared of nothing no more. Nero's a pretty dope name, too. I'll take that one. He's gonna make everything burn. Let's start the game off. Welcome, scavenger. Been expecting you. Now, I don't need to tell you that the world is unjust. You must know it better than most. Being an aristocrat myself, I can only imagine the hardships the stateless must endure. That's why I'm offering you a possibility to leave that brutal life of yours behind. Yeah, what's the offer? I want you to find the fabled mothership and secure it. As a reward, I will offer you full galactical citizenship. Shit's just a myth. I understand your skepticism, but the mothership is not a matter of belief, but an astonishing fact you should learn to appreciate. Besides, I wouldn't offer a full citizenship to anyone who finds the mothership if I thought it was a myth. Our scientists have discovered that the mothership is hidden somewhere in the sector. We have strong reasons to assume that it is filled with technological wonders beyond belief. The Triumvirate is willing to pay anything for it. Find it and I'll grant you citizenship. Needless to say, you would be rewarded with a one-day ticket to an easy life on a comfortable and beautiful mirror world. 
Alright, I've heard enough. Let's do it. Report back to me as soon as you find any information about the mothership. Prove yourself worthy and I'll grant you a broader working permit. If you manage to find and secure the mothership, the citizenship is yours. But bear in mind that you're not the only one I've extended this offer to. Act quickly, scavenger. Alright. Apparently I'm not the only one. The station? We'll prepare for missions here. There's good money in them. We should also check the pawn shop for anything useful and sell anything we're not using. Okay, so we've got the pawn shop right there. We've got the mercenary hub. We've got a research workshop. What does the research workshop do? I don't think this was in the last time I played the game. Or if it was, like, stuff was missing or something like that. So we've got scan details. We get scan range. We get the cost increase. We don't really have enough money for any of this stuff right now. We've also got energy reserve upgrades. I don't remember what energy reserve does either, but I assume I'll remember once I get into the game. Deep Sky Medical. That's where we can heal people up and make sure they don't have boo-boos that are keeping them from the battlefield. Pawn shop, we got all kinds of gear and random wares and stuff inside of here. We got a mental tool right there, so we have snapping, conserving membrane. Remembering. We also got a modified shoddy right there. I'm not going to play around with too much of this stuff. We're kind of broke at the moment, so maybe we should just go earn some money first. Welcome to the lair. Believe it or not, this is the entertainment center of the station. We sell drinks to soothe the pain, and we keep track of open contracts. Okay, let's go do some wormling research. Yeah, why not? I slank, purveyor of fine substances, need you to get me five wormling intestines. I know what you're thinking. He's making wormine. He has to be. Untrue. These are for my cutting edge research paper on wormling diets. Honest, so I'll pay you handsomely. Almost too much for the five intestines. Think about it, yep. I'll take both contracts in all honesty. We also have mercenaries right now, but I guess I can't have mercenaries, so we'll do that later. Let's take off from the ship. So we've got Corinna, we've got Paylor. Which one is the one that we wanted to go to? I wanted to do the easier one first. So that's level two. That's level one. I assume that level one is going to be the easy part. Let's go ahead and fly to Corinna. If it's level two and we just got faked out, well, fair enough. I guess we got faked out. Maybe the mission's not getting done. But I pride myself on being the substandard mercenary services you can count on out here in the open vastness and vo wide void of space. There we go. I'm saying wide void for some reason. It's not something you say very often. Like, when was the last time you said this? You said the phrase, wide void? Your brain doesn't expect it to come out. All right, here we are. Return here and contact me when you're ready to be back to base. Be safe out there, guys. All right, so as I recall, there's like a grid, and we scan, and we've got like energy points. Shalak no Shiar Onega. Okay. So we're in combat now. Uh, we can do single strike or we can do aimed shot. So if the energy reserves are good, we can fight without worry. However, if they're running low, we should consider retreating. All right, so let's put a let's put an aim shot out there. Yup, that's what I'm talking about right there. A little bit of damage out, knock down them shields. Make sure we don't have any problems. So we got a shield boost right here. We can add 30% of max shields for temporary points. Recharge shield, or we can just burst fire. I'm a fan of gunplay, so I say we just burst fire. Single strike, provoking strike, that gives taunt. Yeah, go ahead and give taunt. That sounds like a really good idea to me. We're probably going to kill this fool before anything else happens, but... Oh, I didn't want to reload. I was just clicking around to look at things. My badsies. Well, it's her turn now, so... She shot at the guy that we wanted her to shoot at. Drained off his shields a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, recharge the shields on him, shall we? There we go. Give him a nice little plus 10. Got some damage out. Let's go ahead and bash on him. Yup. You just got swiped on. I love the comic book style battles in this game. And they look even better than they did before, in all honesty. It feels like they look a little bit better, a little bit smoother. They've got, like, idle animations and stuff like that. Like, I, I like it. I like it a lot. The game has definitely gotten a little bit better. Some mental tool mods... I don't know if anybody's going to use those, but we'll take them all. Yeah, throw them in the backpack. Why not? Uh, let's go ahead and scan. We can scan from where we're at right now. It looks like we've got something here. What is that? Oh, cool. So we've got ourselves some thorium fragments, and we've got ourselves a trash pile. It's a quest item? Who sends you on a quest for trash? Doesn't seem like a very fun quest. Just saying, the DM sounds like he took a day off on that one. So what do we have going on down here? Like, what is what is that right there? An energy surge? Vorlenos D. Okay. Prepare to fight. 
Oh, there's two of them now. Even better. Plus one card and 25% chance of energize every turn. So we've got two of them, huh? Mark target, minus 20% damage resistance, 30% focus for each target on... Yeah, do that. We'll attack the bottom one first. There we go. Go ahead and mark that. Cobra's going to put out some damage. Ow. Okay. Let's go for the burst fire. It's time for us to do some work up in here and get rid of this dude's health. Or this lady's health, I guess. This space lady that's decided to try and backhand me into oblivion. We've got Provoking Strike and Single Strike. Let's go with Provoking Strike for right now since he's the tank. Trying to take some focus off our other character if I can. We've got a couple of Single Strikes in here. We've got Weapon Enhancers, Self Recharge. Yeah, go ahead and Self Recharge. You need to have some more shields. She went through your shields a little bit too well. I don't know what Envenom does, but they got through his shields. Let's go ahead and we will recharge him just to make sure that he stays up and running. Yeah, that's why. That's why I did it right there. I had a feeling they were going to stay on him. Uh, keep doing the provoking strikes. We'll eliminate an enemy. Ooh, 18 damage critical right there. Very nice. That's the stuff I was waiting for. Uh, we got a 10 damage single shot right there. I think that's a really good plan to knock off her shields. Almost perfect in all honesty. Uh, we melee debuff, so there's disruption. Melee range debuff for two turns. Do a shield boost. Yeah, let's shield boost him. That looks good to me. 18 shields is nice. That's going to take a little bit of pain off, and in fact, it saved us from that hit. We don't have a lot of energy left to play around with, so we probably want to finish this off like as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and keep putting a little bit of DACA on these dudes. I think we can go back. Ooh, an aim shot. Nice. Keep firing. That one's down. Good stuff. We've got ourselves Junk Electronics, and we've got ourselves a Level 2 Power Glove mod. Sounds awesome, just in case you're trying to live that Nintendo life. So what does he have? That's a Power Glove mod. He's got a Wrecker. That is a level 2 heavy melee. I don't know if we have heavy melee right now. We also have a Battle Visor, which is a weapon tool and a shield core. She's got a Repeater, an assault ranged weapon, and a level 1 tech tool. I don't have anything that's going to add on right there, I don't think. And this person has a precision ranged weapon and an energy blade. Don't have anything for there either, I don't think. All right, close off the PDA. Let's go back to our scanner. We'll see what we can get going on here. Got an energy surge on that side. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see. Weapons primed imitating combat protocol. All right, let's fight. Apparently, we're fighting a robot out here. Oof. Evaded. That's where that plus five dodge comes in. That's where it comes in. Uh, give me an aim shot on the big dude. Yeah, knock that shield all off so that we can get him lit up on the next turn. Go ahead and put some damage on him. Hopefully the tank can finish him off before this gets a little too crazy. Oh, never mind. He's going to get an attack. A back... Oh, he missed. Nice. And then a double shot right there, too. Does he get a double turn? I don't know what happened right there, but he tried to fix us up with that double-double. All right, well, the Ancient Eye is up now. Let's put a bash on him. Did that finish him off in one hit? Oh, it almost did. Almost took him out. Let's get a single shot going. And they have been eliminated. Let's see what kind of goodies we got here. So we got some janitor parts. We've got a data pad journal from someone named Nilla. And then we've got a tech tool right there. A leeching multi-tool that seems to... Gives you a recharge shield slot. Or a recharge shield skill. And then it gives you shield drain. Yeah, I'll take it all. Why not? I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. We've got a tech tool mod right there with a bot node. Deploys a 10 health bot with 20 shields and evasion that uses trash talk and gives critical. Nice. Uh, that can fetch a high price adamantine. Nice. I'll take that too. Open up the PDA for a second. We'll scan out real fast. Uh, if I wanted to get back home, it's going to cost me 80 right now on Corinna. Excruciating agony for you! Okay, apparently he's going to try and dispense some excruciating agony. Got an aim shot over here. Yeah, just aim shot him. Perfect. His shield's got a lot of girth to him, and so the faster we can work our way through him and move forward, the happier I'll be. It looks like he's using some kind of buckshot or shotgun or something. Uh, recharge shields on the person that got hit. Perfect. Keep that nice and filled up. 
He's got Provoking Strike and Single Strike. Let's go ahead and use Provoking Strike on him real fast. Make sure he stays on the tank. I want all damage being directed in his direction if we can deal with it. Oh, really? He threw out a stun. That's weak. That's no funsies. Go with a single shot real fast. I think we could drop him. Perfect. Nine damage out. I think I can live with that. And if I couldn't live with that, I would have to question sincerely why something in a video game made me so upset. Five damage out, and we are done with that combat. We got ourselves a tech tool mod. We got ourselves a heavy melee mod. Nice. Okay, so now is when we're going to want to search this area. A little bit more useless piles of trash. Okay. Open that on up. I don't see anything else in this area that we're looking for. What is our ultimate goal in this area? So we've got Honest Scrapting. We've got T-Model Janitor Parts. We've got the Derelict Corinna. We've got Location Data over here in Pelior. We've got Wormling Research. I think that's just a generic job. That might not even need like a real location. I think that could be something just on standby. Since we've got a modification for his weapon, where did that go to? So we've got the Heavy Melee mod right there. That's going to give him Destructive Smash and Forceful Blow. It actually debuffs the enemy's damage resistance too. And it gives a chance of stunning every single time we use it. That's pretty good. It's not bad at all. I don't think we have any Shield Core modifications just yet. But we do have, let's see here, we've got Tech Tools. So that gives pl plus 4 to Tech, removes 60% of maximum shields for two turns. It'd be nice to have. I mean, it's, you know, it's not perfect, but it's something. We've also got a level 2. The Taunt Bot seems nice, so I'll put the Taunt Bot on there. The Shield Core, we got another Tech Tool on that side. I'm almost tempted to get rid of that one right there, just because... Her hand is a little convoluted. It's kind of hard to get the attacks and things that I want out of her, I guess. What do you have going on? You got an energy blade right now. You got a weapon tool and a shield core. Okay. We'll close that on down. Let's go back to the scanner. Scan from right here, and we've got another mission critical objective. How long is it going to take me to get back to there? 70? Okay. But that's assuming no combats or anything else. Let's head back that way because we haven't scanned this entire area of the derelict. Looks like we made it back okay. Let's return to the station for a second and we'll come back to Corinna in just a minute. Let's go to the pawn shop and we'll sell off some of these goodies here. Yeah, sell all of our junk. I've got that. I don't think I'm going to need the power glove mod for right now. We don't have anybody that uses mental tools, so I'll get rid of that. We'll fill our energy reserves real fast. Let's go back and see what we can buy here. So we've got some energy refillers. I will take those. Just... Oh my god, there's actually... Oh, it costs exactly three times as much. Okay, well, bummer. Bummer, dude. Bummer. Uh, we got a power glove right there. Steady blaster, precision ranged weapon mod for plus 3% damage. We've got a ranged weapon mod right there. I'll probably take that guy so that we can slap it on real quick. How much CC do I have left? Credits or whatever? I don't even know what they're called. Inside of our crew, nobody has leveled up or anything like that, so that's alright, I don't think. Yeah, everybody's still level 1. Yep. Inside the inventory, who was it that had the precision weapon? That's an assault ranged weapon. I needed the precision ranged. There it is. So that adds a new card to the deck for lethal shot for 15 damage. That's not bad right there. That'll definitely shut down somebody's holiday real quick. Let's go back to Corinna. Alright, so now that we're back on familiar territory, let me throw out a scan real fast. I don't see anything good happening right there. I'm going to head down this way because it clears this entire channel out. Filth, filth, filth! All I see is filth! Must keep it together, must take the dirt away. Friend or foe, here to spit and splash? Isn't it cleaning for droids? Sticky words from foul mouth, get out of here! Can I just murder him? Grunge stands for danger. Purity is goody good. This derelict is too big for a tiny tidy tank like me to take care of alone. My comrades went insane eons ago. How I'm professional of them to leave work unfinished. I'm professional, I say. Could you be my new cleaning class hero? Bring me all the garbage you find for further invalidation. I will offer you the title of honored psychosocial cleaner of the derelicts, which necessary gimmicks included. Alright, I'll bring you some trash. I don't know how much trash I have in here, but I had quest items in my inventory. 
that was like garbage piles. Yeah, there's a trash pile right there. I don't know how many he wants. Does it say in the mission log? Three trash piles. I can also get six if I wanted even more. It sounds like we got stuff to do out here then. Go ahead and scan from right here. Went through energy kind of rapidly, though. Looks like we got junk electronics, a broken energy cell, and a zero ice particle for making really cold drinks or can be used en masse as a coolant and compatible systems. All right, I assume that's like junk that we can just sell. We got something going on right here. Let's check it out. Another little search area. Got a trash pile and an iridium composite scrap. What's going on right here? Raid, pillage, and loot everything. That's that's my motto. I live my life every single day by that motto. Uh, lethal shot, obviously. That's how we start off combats. Maybe we get like a dope. Ooh, it one-shotted him? No way. That's so dope. I'm so happy. That's like my favorite thing that's ever happened. Ooh, we got more trash piles. How many of those do I have now? I needed six, right? So we've got five. I need one more and we can do the optional quest and maybe something cool will happen. We'll go over here and check this out. We got a mental tool mod. It's nice for the vendor. We don't have a psychic or anything in our group, so why stress about it? Is this the end of the road over here? Go ahead and scan real fast. Oh, actually, it's absolutely not. Good lord. There's a lot of stuff to explore around here. Just keep scanning. If there's interesting things abound, I want to see them inside this derelict. We've got a melee weapon mod that gives 15% stagger. Might be nice for stopping somebody's turn. I think I'll equip it. There we go. So now I have a stun ability too, just in case somebody's got like really, really heavy attacks or something like that, and I want them to skip their next turn. It'd be nice to have. We got a tech tool mod. Restore two shields per turn plus one tech. Okay. Sounds all right. I'm going to head back up this way. I think that circle was where I was supposed to turn in my quest or whatever. Yeah. Uh, maybe upwards? I'm going to have to drop some energy pretty soon. I don't really want to, but... Something going on right there. Let's have a look at it. We've got a weapon tool. Seven weaponry. We've got a power glove mod right there. And then we've got ourselves some thorium fragments. All right. Uh, the weapon tool upgrade is probably better than what some people have. Yeah, he's got a three weapon tool. So if we give him the seven weapon tool, all the damage will go up on all of his cards. Because that's the stat that they use in order to, like, kick ass and take names. So, you know, if you're trying to get things done, like, tech affects how well you do with shield restoration. Medical is how well you restore health. Scavenging is how well you do with, like, grenade cards and stuff like that. Explosives. Mental is kind of like the magic stat, and weaponry affects the damage of your damage cards. So I remember figuring that out the last time I played the game. I don't know if I want to head back to base or if I want to burn a whole bunch of my energy cells. I don't honestly know what the better choice is. We've kind of run out of stuff to do here. Let's jump back to the station real quick. I'm going to restore some of my energy and sell off my junk. There you go. Didn't make a whole lot of money on that run, but we can sell that. The buckler node we can get rid of. Probably get rid of the mental tool node, too. I need those for the quest, so we're not going to get rid of that. we got the data pad, tech tool with five tech on it. Do I have anybody that needs the five tech tool? Hmm? you got a three tech tool, so yes, I would say that a five tech tool would probably be an upgrade for you. So there you go, five tech tool upgrade taken care of. Let's get back to the Karina. I thought there was, like, a time limit on this game, though, too. Like, I thought there was, like, a ticking time limit, kind of like in Darkest Dungeon for some of the events or whatnot, before somebody else finds the thing that you're looking for before you do. Got energy surges and whatnot down there. Looks like that's the only place we haven't been, and there's a little bridge right there, too. Go ahead and scan from right here. Yep, we missed out on a bunch of stuff. What's on this side? We've got a search node. We found ourselves some scrap electronics and a small energy cell. Nice. It'll save us some money a little bit later on. Some of these complexes can get huge, and you absolutely need, like, an energy cell for it. We got a level 1 heavy melee that does 9 damage. Is that better than what he's got? What does he have right now? Heavy melee, he's got 8 damage, so it's a slight upgrade. Will it keep my mods? It does! Huzzah! So damage is moving on up. What's that right there? You find a functioning data console. It's awaiting your command. Unlock the area? 
Area lockdown lifted. Recharge my energy? Nice. Scan surroundings? I mean, I think I did everything. That was kind of a cool little bonus. Oh, wow, there's tons of stuff over there. Good lord. Okay, let's head over this way. That looks like the next location where something good's gonna happen. Incessant meat bag, soil the purity vessel. Vassal. I'm bad with words. Oh, I've been shot with a death laser. Weak, dude. Super weak. So lethal shot, 15% chance of killing. Uh, yeah, do that. Oh, we didn't get our lethality roll. Feels bad. Feels bad. But at least we killed off the iBot, so that's good. The janitor's gonna get his attack off, which is weak sauce, but... You know, sometimes you get punctured, and apparently he's bleeding now. Let's go with a destructive smash. That's a pretty good hit right there. Aim shot, finish him off. Done. And that's gonna be it. This is Deep Sky Derelicts. If you guys like what you saw so far, that's an illustrious one. Oh, wow, that's a really good thing. Wow. That's an incredible object for this early. It's too bad we don't have anybody that uses mental tools. I'll see y'all later. If you wanted to get the game for yourself, it's down below. If you don't know who I am, I'm Splattercat. I dig through the pile to find what's worthwhile in indie gaming nowadays. Because there is a lot of stuff out there to sift through. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on by. Take care and hi to everybody.